Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I am going to show you gameplay and best settings for Call of Duty Black Ops. That's the original Black Ops from, I believe, 2010. That was my first year of university. Okay, so for the settings, first of all, let's just run through the settings in the game. And for best graphic settings, this is what I found 1280 by 800 or so max res. Full screen set anti aliasing to 2x, that's enough to get the job done, but not full. And pretty much everything else, just have it on max. Okay, so now that once you've got that done, next thing you want to do is I'm using a, a PS4 controller, but if you're not using a PlayStation controller or Xbox, if you're using the Steam Deck controls, which you most likely will, you'll need to do a bit of extra configuration to get the best experience. So what you want to do, I'm going to click the Steam button, I'm going to go to Game Details, and in here, go to the gamepad. You'll have Steam Deck you know, arranged first, I've, only, I've just rearranged it because I'm using a controller for the purpose of this video. But in there, you want to go to there, go to Community Layout, and scroll down till you get the first Steam, or it should be the first Steam Deck icon one, by Birds. It's got like 175 hours played and that's the best one that I recommend and you'll be all good to go and you can use the right trackpad as like a mouse and to click in as well that's great for the menus and the rest of the controls are just mapped and you're all good to go so and you can use the left trackpad if you click on the top it navigates up on a menu option like on the main menu and down a click will you know navigate down that's the best settings okay so just one last thing Let's go back into the game. Is you want S CPU SMT off. To do this, you do need the power tools. I'm as of now, I have not created that video, but by the time this goes live and you probably watch it, that video will most likely exist on my channel. So feel free to check that out. And to do that, it's again assuming you have it enabled, you click the three dots, you go to the power tools, and in power tools. Uh, you'll select this and I mean that's the add-ons and the power tools and you make sure you disable CPU SMT on some older games and certain other games disabling this will get you a boost in frame rate okay so in terms of getting 30 or 60 frames you'll get 30 frames no doubt there you get 60 in some scenes and you'll probably get 40 50 in a lot of other scenes I recommend leaving it either open frame cap so you can get close 60 as possible or in you know the settings here and this is just the, the normal steam deck settings just you know reduce the refresh rate either 40 or 50 and you'll still still get a good gameplay experience but i'm going to show you as is so you can see the ups and lows ups and downs okay so let's get going We're going to the 50s, the 40s. It's even worse than this if you, don't, if you have SMT enabled.
just this he did die before I even got to get before I went inside to get the minigun. Honestly, let's just go end it here. I'm doing really bad right now on Black Ops. But yeah, love this game. Can't wait to play through this whole game again. One of the things I'm loving my Steam Deck is going through you know, some old games. Uh, especially games that look good for the day and now still look great on a small screen. In portable mode, but you can run it like max settings. So that's it. Call to Black Ops gameplay on Steam Deck. If you have any questions or any game requests, feel free to let me know. There's a Steam compatibility list that I'm compiling in the description. So feel free to check that out. And that is it. Like I said, I'll have a setup video on how to enable the power tools menu so you can disable SMT. That really does help. So feel free to stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.